The ocean is one of the most mysterious habitats on Earth, full of some of the strangest living organisms you'll ever see. From beautiful fish to alien invertebrates, so many incredible animals call these remote waters and reefs their home. However, one of the strangest sea creatures of all lives closer to you than you might think, maybe right underneath your feet. I'm Mikey Green, and my goal is to show just how little we really know about the strange creatures living their hidden lives all around us. I usually go to great lengths, exploring some unique habitats in search of some of the weirdest animals out there, and this includes the ocean. But while I normally need to swim a little bit out to find what I need to see, today we are looking for one creature that lives right at the shore, sand fleas, also called mole crabs. These strange crustaceans live their lives completely hidden from human eyes, which can make finding them very difficult, without any help at least. This is where this comes in handy, the legendary sand flea rake. Called this because it looks like a rake and it catches sand fleas. Anyways, this ingenious contraption gets dragged along the sand beneath the waves in hopes that it will pick up one of these elusive mole crabs. Well, I was told that this was easy to use. Here you can see my ineptitude in using the sand flea rake, or just general ineptitude in dealing with anything ocean related. But after an embarrassingly high amount of grueling, tedious work, I finally pulled it off. Check this out. In here is exactly what we were out here in this beach habitat looking for. A mole crab, one of the strangest creatures that you could find right here at the beach. Now let's learn all about this incredibly strange animal. This right here is one of my favorite crustaceans that you could find here in the state of Florida. This is the Atlantic sand crab, also known as the Atlantic mole crab a species of mole crab that can be found here along the Atlantic coast and are especially common to find at beaches here in Florida. Now, just because they're common does not mean that they are by any means not unusual. These are some of the strangest and most unique animals native to these coastal areas. And despite being super common, many people go to these beaches like this without realizing that these strange animals are hiding right under their feet. That's right, these aren't any deep sea kind of crustacean, these are living in the sand right along the coast. I found this maybe less than 10 feet out into the water, in the sand. Basically everything about this creature's is biology is super strange. Number one, you almost always see these only walking backwards. That is because the appendages, the legs that they have that are highly adapted to digging, are in the back and not the front like many other subterranean invertebrates. And that is that way they can dig tail first into the sand and keep their heads sticking up in order to filter for their food. That's right, these things are filter feeders, feeding on small plankton and algae in the ocean water. Now what they use to filter out their food is actually these modified antennae at the front of their face. Now pretty much all crustaceans have these filamentous antennae just like insects do centipedes and many other arthropods to be able to feel the world around them, basically using them as an extra sensory organ to further enhance their awareness of the world. Now, the weird way mole crabs have evolved to use their antennae is that they're actually very feathery in shape, and this is what they use to filter out plankton, algae, and other microorganisms that can be found in that water. Because believe it or not, with how clear that water looks behind me, it is full of tiny microorganisms. Now, as you might be able to guess by the name, this is obviously a very crab-like animal. And you could tell because it is indeed a crustacean. You can see that rounded body with a very compacted and hard shell on top, 10 legs, antennae, even very flattened appendages similar to many swimming crabs, like blue crabs. However, what you might not be able to guess by the name is that these are not crabs. They are not true crabs. Actual crabs, like the ones you are used to, are in the group within the decapods, which are the 10-legged crustaceans called the Brachiura. And while these are also decapod crustaceans, so are shrimp, lobsters, crayfish, all of which 
are more closely related to crabs than this is right here. This is actually a member of a very strange lineage of decapod crustaceans called the Anomura, which actually contains some of the most iconic crustaceans you might not even know are closely related to one another. That group also contains the hermit crabs. And while that might sound very strange at first, if you look at their face, they actually do have quite a similar looking face. The name mole crab, while they aren't a mole or a crab, is no joke. Just like a mole, these things are incredibly efficient diggers. Except unlike moles, they dig underwater and backwards. Seeing these things dig is so surreal because you would not imagine a creature this almost clunky looking. To be able to get down into the soil so fast, it actually only takes them just more than a second to fully submerge their body underneath the sand. Now many people actually catch these for bait because not only do a lot of fish love eating these, they also, as you can see, don't move very much. They will just pull all their legs into their shell and basically just hide, pretending to be a little rock or dead shell in the sand. So it does make them really easy to use as bait for fishing. And actually a lot of people will use this exact kind of tool to find these for bait. Anyway, something super strange about these is how the females store their eggs. Believe it or not, mole crabs actually do have a tail, as do many crab-like and crab-adjacent crustaceans. They're just really good at hiding it. Their tail is tucked in right under the abdomen, and if you look, you, you can see how it extends. Now, one way you can tell that you have a female during the breeding season is that they will actually store their eggs, which I believe are a bright orange color, underneath that tail. And since, of course, mole crabs naturally keep their tail tucked under their belly to shield their very soft underside from predators, it makes sense to keep the eggs down there as well. It is just so cool seeing all the different evolutionary strategies that these crustaceans use to stay alive. Despite many crustaceans being distantly related, many have tended to converge towards this kind of body plan of a rounded body with a tough shell on the top and a well-hidden, sometimes even vestigial, which means barely there and practically useless, tail. Now there's kind of a running joke I've heard that this means that the final form of every living organism is crab. And while I wish that was the case because it'd be hilarious, it just happens to be a very efficient and effective body plan for many marine crustacean species. And even groups outside of the crustaceans, like horseshoe crabs. But anyway, how weird of a creature is this? You'd never think that just at these very urban areas, there's a bunch of people here doing stuff like walking their dogs, swimming in the water, sunning on the coast, collecting shells. And to think that where so many people are just walking on top of the sand, is such a strange and unique creature living right under all of our feet. This is exactly why I love just getting out in nature and exploring, because you never know where and when you'll come across something truly amazing out here. Let's put this mole crab right back where we found it, in the moist sand along the southeast Florida coast, and watch it dig backwards back into the sand. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to check out this video right here, where we find an even stranger sea creature, the highly venomous predatory worms of the ocean, the fire worm. See you there.